Hello everyone. We are going to discuss the histology of normal thymus in this video. We can see two images here which are side by side. This image represents a thymus of an infant or a child. We can see here that there are globules over here which are darkly stained and fat tissue is significantly lesser. But when we see the image over here, we can see that most of the tissue most of the lobules or the follicles are replaced by fat tissue. This image here represents the adult thymus. So this is what happens in a thymic tissue. It is most active in the early stages of childhood and adolescence. And then when transforming into an adult, the thymus starts involuting and slowly gets replaced by fatty tissue. When we zoom in, and we can see in higher power that there are two distinct areas in each lobule. The outer area which is darkly stained is known as the cortex. And the inner area which is fairly lightly stained compared to the outer area is known as the medulla. The cortex com is composed of predominantly T-cells. We know that thymus is a site for T-cell maturation. The outer part of cortex is mostly composed of naive T cells which are yet to be matured. Also, we can see that they are tightly packed with lymphocytes and we can see that there are some more other types of cells over here which are nothing but epithelial cells. However, in the medulla, it is fairly loosely packed and the lymphocytes are here but we can also see more number of epithelial cells. Apart from these cells, we can also see that there is a huge cluster here. This cluster is a cluster of all these epithelial cells together which have been degenerated. So this is known as a Hessel's corpuscle. Hessel's corpuscle is very classic for thymic tissue. So it's very classic, it's found in the thymic tissue. And these are clustered together epithelial cells which are usually present in a medulla of the thymus. T cell maturation happens in the thymus. And we know that cortex is composed of T cells which are immature. So, a process known as positive selection happens in the cortex. What is positive selection? Whenever, whenever the naive T cell or immature T cell, they get exposed to MHC molecules. So, when the T cell is able to recognize this MHC molecule, then it goes ahead into the medulla for further maturation. But if it's unable to recognize these MHC molecules, then it undergoes apoptosis. So this is positive selection which happens in the cortex. And something known as negative selection happens in the medulla. Negative selection is very important in autoimmunity. So these T cells, they are exposed to self antigens. So, if they are able to recognize these self antigens, then they are going to undergo apoptosis to prevent autoimmunity. But if they are not recognizing these self antigens, they will go into the circulation and be a part of the immune system. So, this is the basic regulation which happens in the thymus, in the cortex, as well as in the medulla. So, here we can see that. There are epithelial cells and lymphoid cells. As we know, the cortical lymphoid cells were immature. These cortical lymphoid cells will be positive for TDT. And medullary lymphoid cells will be negative for TDT. Also, epithelial cells and Hessel's corpuscles are going to be positive for cytokeratins. These are a few key immunohistochemical findings which, you, which might come in handy. Now this is a question for you. Which of these is characteristic of thymic histology? Do comment your options, do comment your answers and why do you think it is the answer B.